Have you ever wondered what a 100% chance to trigger everything would look like in Risk of Rain 2? Well, it looks like this. Oh my God. <laughs> but before I explain what's going on, first, a word from our sponsor. I'm just kidding. But I am using quite a few mods in this video, so let's talk about those instead. First, Lost in Transit. This mod adapts some of the items and all of the elite types from the first Risk of Rain. It adds four elite types. Frenzying, double attack speed and movement speed on top of getting the teleport dash of an imp. Leeching, AoE healing for all enemies in a small radius. Volatile, drop bombs when hit, just like the Artifact of Spite. And Lighted, much higher base stats, an invisible smoke cloud, and getting not one, but two more elite modifiers at random. Yeah, have fun with a blighted, frenzying, and overloading beetle guard on stage 3. Lost in Transit also contains two of the on-hit items that I used in the run, Beckoning Cat and Thallium. Beckoning Cat is the adaptation of the 56 Leaf Clover, which gives elites a chance to drop items on death, and Thallium is pretty much the same as it was in the first game, a chance to deal hefty damage over time on each hit. Next, Starstorm 2. I've covered this one in the past, but the main use for this video is its Typhoon difficulty. This scales faster than Monsoon, but more notably, doubles the the amount of monsters allowed on the screen at the same time. Pairing this bad boy with the artifact of swarms means that you'll be seeing quite a few more monsters than on a normal run of Risk of Rain 2. Next, Ethereum. This one adds tons of totally custom-made stuff into the game. Items, elite types, and even artifacts with plenty more still in development. Here I'm using it for two artifacts, the artifact of progression and the artifact of the tyrant. Progression makes it so that monsters evolve into their stronger counterparts if left alive for too long. This means that beetles go into beetle guards, Lemur into Elder Lemurians, Golems into Titans, etc. And the best part? Monsters keep elite affixes through their evolution. Did you forget to finish off that overloading Lemurian on stage one? Well, I hope it prepared for an overloading Elder Lemurian coming around the corner. And the Artifact of the Tyrant simply gives Mithrix a random elite modifier. This one didn't matter too much, uh, you'll see why. The final mod and the source of the video's title, Mystic's Items. Like Ethereum, Mystic's Items adds a bunch of custom-made stuff. Among the 20 unique items, the most interesting interesting one to me actually comes from a common item, the scratch ticket. You'd think that one of the uncommon or rare ones would appeal to me the most just due to the nature of how item rarity and the respective effects works, but nope, this little rascal is all I've ever dreamed of. Simply put, it increases the chance of all of your items activating by an additional 1% per stack. So with one single scratch ticket, your ukulele goes from a 25% chance of activating or proccing up to 26%. Now that doesn't really seem like much of anything, I know, but consider that that's just with one stack of the scratch ticket and that the ukulele already has a high chance to proc. So if you take something like an ATG with its 10% chance to proc, all of a sudden you've just made it 10% more powerful, increasing that 10% to 11%. And again, that's just with one scratch ticket. Hmm, if only there was a way of obtaining a guaranteed massive amount of the same item in a short time. Also, I forgot to mention that I'm using a mod called Skills Plus Plus, which allows you to level up your abilities as your survival levels up. I totally forgot to put that in the video as I'm editing. I just realized that and I can't really be bothered to go back and shove it in there with the flow of the video it's already established so yeah I'm just putting it right here all right enough of the explaining here are the highlights of the run the footage is taken off of my stream at twitch.tv slash wooly gaming so consider following me there if you'd like what you see thank you for watching one of the mods that I'm using uh, have I learned from my have I learned from my mistakes champ I just died due to 12 fps because I popped the mountain shrine on the no I really, I really haven't. <laughs> this time we have a ukulele though, chat, so we'll be okay. That's kind of, is there another one? Ooh, okay, maybe two is too much. Two is too much. I think we can all safely agree. Three mountain shrines. There's another one. Oh, chat. Is it worth it? Uh, no. My baby no, I'm it's really not. Me. It's really not worth it, chat. <laughs> okay, tell you what, if I get a gasoline, if I get one single gasoline, what am I, baby though? I'm going in. Maybe. I do have a hope baby. Though? Okay, okay, in. we're definitely getting this one. I'm not a baby chat. Am I baby? My baby I'm going though? In. I'm going in. Chat. You're not gonna peer pressure me. What am I baby okay, though? Okay, I have in. a stronger resilience than that. What's the oh, we're supposed to that you know what? Happen, boys. Oh. What am I baby though? I'm going in. Alright, storm is done. Here we go, boys. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> What's the, what's the worst? Like, me die? <laughs> <laughs> me? Come on, dude. Oh, gosh. This is uh, kind of bad. All right. What do we get, chat? Cast your votes now. 
How many items? We got three mountain shrines, so we get eight items. All right, what do we get? Hopoof, uh, not bad. I think we got a banger alert, boys. Watch out. Oh, that is a skip. Dude, that looks sick. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. That looks sick. I'm assuming March. It'll be like probably mid to late March. If I had to guess. We don't, we don't have a date yet, though. All right, I need to be careful here. I need to be very, very careful here. This guy is very scary. Very, very, very... Dude, the, whatever elite modifier that is that gives them the double elites. So it makes them hard to see with the little smoke cloud thing. I don't know if it does anything else, but then it gives them two random elite modifiers on top of that. So you're essentially fighting a triple elite. Get me the heck in there. No, 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 no radar scanner. Thank you very much. Give me the big boy damage. Let's go. All right, we got another upgrade. I'm going to do one more auto attack, and then we'll see. We'll see what else we slam in there. But Leviathan, thank you again, my good sir, for the 22 big boys. Keep enjoying how to fetch a spicy small little push. The Omega is of Omega Bay. Raiden, thank you for the 100 bits. And Philopolopolopolis with the two were for 14 big boys. Thank you for the 14 months. Keep enjoying, of course, the hottest, the freshest, and the spicy small little push. The Omega is of Omega Value. Actually, I killed the Void Reaver. He'll just blow up on the other guys. Easy. Easy clap. Goodbye. Thank you very much, Philopolopolis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just tune in. What is this run? Bunch of mods. We're killing elite Mythrix. If this isn't a tuber, I don't know what is, Jet. Killing overloading Mythrix? Killing perfected Mythrix in Risk of Rain 2? Risk of Rain 2, but Mythrix is elite? Uh -huh. That's a tuber right there, dude. Am I late? I don't know. Are you? You tell me. Dude, what is that drone sound? The meh 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 meh. I should have enough for the legendary. Ten thousand. If that if that's not enough, I don't know what the heck's going on. Legendary item. Did I? I think it's an equipment. I'm talking about this. I'm talking about the chest, probably. Woke up at 3 a.m. and Elite Mythrix at my doorstep. Gone wrong. Green Chocolate. When damage release 20% of your max HP, you get a stacking 50% base damage, 20% crit chance for 15%. Damn it. I didn't read the rest. Damage in excess of 20% is reduced by 50%. Wah! All right. Should we go to Mythrix right away, chat? And then go to Dead Cells? Or should we do a loop and then go to Mythrix and then go to Dead Cells? I kind of want to loop. I'm not going to lie. I want to see how crazy this mod gets. The freaking double monster count. I want to see how crazy that's going to get. I'm doing a loop. I, I put my foot down. I make the decision. Give me a molten perforator and I'm one happy commando. Never seen a rook. Oh, it's too easy, baby. I'm doing some decent damage. It's not insane. We have very low crit. I don't have a lot of on hits. Either. I have like one ATG for single target. We actually don't have that many good items here. We just have a lot of items Game. to get money from it for people to actually want to buy it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, oh, Soul Link is so good. Point plenty of times. Uh, okay, how many forks do I need? I literally am gonna go all in on forks. How about that? Here we go. Oh, this is gonna be so. This is gonna be so satisfying. This is the faster scrapper. Okay, let's try again. It's gonna be on YouTube, by the way. This is the faster printer and faster scrapper mod. There <laughs> we go. That was the faster printer and faster scrapper mod. Or mods hit 1.4 versions. Hit 1.4 version of Terraria. Scratch ticket printer is actually insane. We need scratch tickets, boys. We need scratch tickets. It's a requirement. Uh, okay, we're just gonna. Okay, is that enough? 20. You think 20 is enough? So now I have a 30. My ATGs have a 30% chance of procking. I think that's fine. Eagle. Oh no. Oh, we're going to break the game. Oh, we're actually going to break the game. Let's just try it. What's happening?
<laughs> um, do I go up to 100% proc chance? We only need 23. Oh, 33. What am I, baby? 33? That's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> okay, Chad. <laughs> Let's see what happens, boys. I have no idea what is going to happen once we get here. But Oh, there's three blood shrines. Wait, there are three blood shrines. We'll do this in like two seconds. Hold up. Oh, I don't want to attack anything, though. Come on. Oh, I have to attack. Okay, not that bad. Not that bad. We didn't instantly crash. I wonder if it even works. Honestly, do you think it's actually going to be proccing? Oh, uh, maybe it is. <laughs> maybe it's working. Do we have a on hit red? Is that an on? Oh, I think it is. Oh, I actually think it is. Hold on. 10% chance to inflict poison. 10%, you say? 10%. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That would be why I can't see it. All right, let's get out of here, chat. And by get out of here, I mean instantly annihilate Mythrix because I always do that on the first try. Duh. Look at the ATGs. Oh, well, this is going to be good. Wait, is he dead? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't ask me, chat. I don't know. There it is, boys. Too easy. I told you. I told you I was going to kill Elite Mythrix on the first try today. The very first run. I told you. That was definitely the first run, by the way. 100%.